All right, so DaVinci Resolve released yet again another new update after just releasing public beta 20 for DaVinci Resolve with a bunch of new features in there. If you haven't seen anything about DaVinci Resolve 20, I already made a video on that one previously to this video. You can go check that out on my channel. But for those of you guys that are wondering what's new in DaVinci Resolve Public Beta 2, let's go ahead and jump into this and check it out. Let's go. All right, so once you pop your head over to the DaVinci Resolve form, we can go ahead and check out what Blackmagic Design has really pumped up in this new version. It seems to be a lot of fixes and uh, specifically for some really new cool features that are in DaVinci Resolve 20. And I haven't exactly tested this out yet. So I am curious to know if DaVinci has adjusted some issues that were with the keyframe viewer um, itself on the edit page adjuster, the keyframe adjuster. All right, so let's check it out. What's new in DaVinci Resolve 20 Public Beta 2? We got Address Multiple Issues for Keyframes and Curves Editor. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. I wonder if they addressed um, being able to adjust fusion settings within the keyframe editor because that wasn't an option before. Um, and then the, now there's an option to be able to display adjustment clip keyframes and curves. So that yet again goes into potentially the fusion page type stuff. So maybe we'll be able to get that if we're lucky. Addressed curve shape change when adding a new keyframe. Um, all right, so that's pretty good. A lot of stuff with the keyframe editor. Multiple usability improvements to source timeline viewer workflows. Improved justify behavior in text plus and multi text. Improved display of missing font names in text plus and multi text. New circle mode viewer overlay for text plus and multi text. Okay, so a lot of stuff going on for the keyframe editor, a lot of stuff going on for text, mainly bug fixes. Addressed animated subtitles not updating after editing text. Okay, so there was an issue with animated subtitles. Um, oh, new fusion tools, uh, multi layer tools for layer mixer, layer remover, and layer rejects. That sounds pretty exciting. Probably some compositing stuff. That sounds pretty cool. New key shortcuts to cycle multi layers with page up page down and the home button addressed incorrect solo track behavior when recording voiceovers with mute timeline audio address voiceover issue when recording tracks with track fx applied addressed audio assistant issue with applying crossfades on clips with insufficient handles addressed audio assistant issue with normalizing clips shorter than two seconds Okay, so that's great because the audio assistant had a couple of bugs. It doesn't look like they've addressed the issue that I've brought up in my previous video and will probably bring up in another video on the audio assistant. Um, but it looks like they are improving some bugs on that. Addressed AI music editor, sometimes leaving gaps between edits. I haven't run into that myself. Um, it's been pretty good. Addressed equalizer effect only applying on the first two channels of an audio track. Addressed render range issue when adding a timeline to render queue from media pool. Addressed artifacts in smooth cut with speed warp on some vertical timelines. Oh, okay. So we got some artic artifacts being fixed with the uh, speed warp smooth cut. That tool is freaking awesome. I got to make a video on that. Addressed issue adjusting size of dead pixel fixer when on the left side of the frame. All right, so something for the left side of the screen probably. Addressed issue with temp temporal effects on stereoscopic 3D clips on the color page. Address black frame in clean feed at some edit points. Um, dual screen layout issues with vertical timeline layouts in the edit page. 
issue with minimizing undocked keyframe window. Okay, so more and more stuff for this keyframe window. Um, address crash when using titles or generators with ACES 2.0 ODT in Mac OS. Address the crash media managing a clip with music editor changes. Address crash with performing search in all bins in media pool. And last thing addressed is HDR tags in PNG improvements. These things are good because I saw some um, I saw some YouTubers complaining about DaVinci Resolve crashing in DaVinci Resolve 20 public beta. So um, this will be helpful to you know just get more knowledge and information out to you guys to begin with. And I'm assuming that. If it's crashing for them, it's probably also crashing for some of you guys as well. So maybe that's fixed. All right, so overall, that's pretty much it for DaVinci Resolve 20 Beta 2. Last thing was general performance and stability improvements. Most of the things were on the keyframe editor. Maybe they brought back the curves editor as well as some text stuff, some voiceover stuff, and audio assistant, and the new music features. Um, so a lot of different fixes. Hopefully this will stop DaVinci from crashing for a lot of you guys. And uh, overall, I really hope that the keyframes editor, we can adjust some fusion um, keyframes in there. That'd be really, really dope. But um, yeah, I got some really cool stuff coming out for you guys. If you haven't heard it in any of the previous couple videos, um, for those of you that really want to level up your skills in DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to be coming out with some different courses and different things, group calls, you know, individual coaching sessions for you guys that really want to improve your skills in DaVinci, that are really looking for that pay upgrade, that moolah, or whether you're just looking to improve your skill in DaVinci Resolve because you just want to know it all. We're going to have all that stuff for you guys. So pay attention to the description of these videos. I'll have something coming out at some point for you guys to check out. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Rob Creates, I'm out.